What's up guys, Josh aka Savage Hydra here, and welcome to our third episode of Dark Souls. Uh, last time we got up through here, through the uh, some of the upper Undeadberg, into to this bonfire here. Uh, we didn't level up for a specific region uh, reason, we got a fair few items and we got our nice uh, new shield. Uh, but for now, we're going to head out here and deal with these guys. As you can see, you can be sneaky. Uh, oh. And not sneaky enough, apparently. So you want to deal with these guys again. I you see, these guys are now throwing fire bombs at us, which is not pleasant. Uh, but we're not going that way. We're going to go back down this way. We can deal with this guy. As you can see, all this stuff is still broken. Uh, so, well, basically, enemies will respawn when you rest at a bonfire. But the environment will not... We've got a plank stuck in us. That is hilarious. Um, the area will not, unless you die. If you die, everything goes back. Uh, but the enemies will not respawn, will, will respawn, but the environment will not reset if you only rest at a bonfire. But over here, we've got a couple of armoured guys. I'm going to be careful about how far we go forward. Because these guys are really annoying to fight because they have spears. Uh, so I want to only pull one at a time. But they're also slow because for some reason they just don't want to move fast. Uh, they can, they will try and run up on you. But uh, I want to fight this guy alone up here. Uh, the reason they're annoying is because a spear can be used from behind a shield when the shield is being held up, whereas pretty much every other weapon bar like one or two can't. Uh, but what we can do while he's blocking is try and nope. oh, try and either get behind him, which is not really looking like it's working, or we can try and kick and take his shield away. Uh, and there we go, so he's done. And there's the Havoc engine for you, fleeing stuff around, ragdoll effect. Oh, he went to attack. Oh, that was a two handed set, I think. Nope. Okay, so he's dealt with now as well. That's nice. Uh, now, again, you look over here, there's a couple of enemies. Oh, wow, well, okay, nothing here. Lies. Secrets and treachery. Yeah. Uh, there's an, a guy hiding behind here. So if, if you're not careful, he will catch you off guard. And we can deal with him pretty easily. So no shield to be annoying. Uh, down through here. We'll see what's going on. There is somewhere we can go. Oh, there's some enemies there. Look at that. So what do these guys want? Hmm? Take these guys out. We dealt with them quite, quite easily. Uh, and we'll go up this ladder and see what's up here. I actually can't remember what's up here, so um, it might be a bit interesting. Uh, we have just a, a lone item, rather nice. Oh, maybe this is how we get down there. Uh, let's have a look. We've got throwing knives. Ooh, I'm not going to be using them. Uh, <laughs> but we can take those out of our consumables. Uh, and let's try jumping down here now. There we go, we're in here. Okay. Now we can see what's up here. I'm assuming there's just going to be like one item up here. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is something you probably would have been able to see if you looked up. Uh, obviously, you don't really have much uh, intention of looking up over them. Uh, but yeah, we got a crossbow and some bolts. So we, we got a nice crossbow. I'm probably not, I'm not going to be using the crossbow. Uh, but again, it, it's nice. Oh, hello. You guys have respawned, of course. Uh, but now we're back in that place that we were just a little short while ago. So 
just want to deal with these guys. And just keep going. There's no reason to go around killing things that you've already killed multiple times. Um, unless you want to just grind for souls, but I just want to progress through this episode. Uh, we can head back down here, and what you're going to see is we're going down to meet that guy. And there's a reason that we didn't spend our souls to level up. Because this guy is a merchant. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> so as we can see from the uh, first, the, 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 uh, the guy that was teaching us about humanity and stuff in the early game and telling us where the Bells of Awakening are, and this guy, NPCs have a habit of laughing to finish their dialogue, which is kind of weird, but uh, also kind of, I guess, uh, gives you that Im gives uh, gives off that impression that everything in this game is kind of dangerous and treacherous. But what we're going to get from this guy is our orange guidance soapstone, just because it's a nice item to have. You can leave messages. All these orange things that we've been Thank seeing lying kindly. around. Uh, nice messages that people have been leaving. You can leave mess messages for people. Uh, and also, um, one thing we want to talk... <laughs> we want to buy from him. So, repair power can repair weapons and stuff. Throwing knives, firebombs, Lloyd's talismans. We want uh, the bottom... We want the residence key, definitely. Uh, and we also, I think, want the bottom of the box at this Thank point. Thank you kindly. <laughs> just because. So at this point, now, what I'm going to do is use our Souls of Undead to get some souls for buying stuff. And we want 2,000 souls on the at this point. Ow. Because <laughs> one thing that would be nice to get early is... Oh, the repair box is actually really expensive. Okay, let's not. Bot bottomless box is nice because it means that you can oh, store all your you. items away that you Very don't much. want. Come back. <laughs> uh, and basically have... Uh, a clear, cleared out in inventory because eventually all this will get kind of uh, rather backlogged uh, so we can store away things that we're not going to want to use uh, just to keep our inventory clear to make it uh, easy to uh, to find things that you might want to change between in our slots uh, anything else you want to talk for this guy <laughs> so got some weapons he's got so you got dagger, short sword, scimitar rapier, hand axe, a club a reinforced club so let's have a look at that so that's got a much lower parameter bonus, but has higher base damage uh, and a bleed effect. So that's trading out scaling, the higher base, and the status effects, which is a lot of things you'll see uh, as trade-offs in this game. Uh, we've got other things, so that, that weapon has, these, a lot of these weapons will have uh, split scalings. So that's got E for strength and B for dexterity. This has got C for both. Uh, e and B, uh, your shields. Uh, oh, that's one thing that we're going to get from here, actually, that I forgot about. Oh, yeah. East West Shield, Buckler, Heater. So we want this Heater Shield because, as you can see, it's low weight, which is nice. Uh, it also has really high fire resistance, it's got some good lightning resistance, and 100% physical damage reduction. So we want that shield. Thank you kindly. <laughs> and we can trade this over to the heater shield. So we've got a smaller shield now. Uh, there we go. But it, it gives us 100% damage reduction on physical attacks. So it means that we can 100% block all of the damage when we get hit by someone swinging a sword at us, which is really, really, really useful. Uh, if you want 
uh, you can, uh, the one thing that Dark Souls does follow is a rule that this guy is an NPC. All NPCs are mortal. You can kill this guy if you want. Uh, you can attack him and then he'll become hostile and start attacking you. Uh, and if you kill him, you can get a certain weapon off him. Uh, it's not a weapon that's unobtainable by other means. Uh, you can buy it from a certain merchant in the game later on. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave him alive because I'm doing... Uh, this is going to be probably a strength build that I'm going for right now. And the weapon that he drops is a dexterity one. It's, uh, it's a katana with a bleed effect. It's really nice for dexterity builds. Uh, it's one of the actually really nice dexterity weapons that can carry you really hard into the late game. But for now, we, we don't really have much else to, to do. Uh, we don't have any souls to upgrade at all. Uh, so I'm just going to head back. So we've got a save point. Oh. 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 That was not a good start. Uh, I'm just going to kill these guys. And then... I think I'm just going to... Oh, what is it? So he's... Oh, hollow soldier armor. So we actually now have some armor to equip. So we might have a bit of extra defense now, which is nice. And we're still fast drawing, which is fine. Uh, but for now, we've kind of gone through some of this area. Um, I've explained some of the stuff to do with merchants and a couple of items that we've gone for. Uh, so I think for now, I might leave that here. So, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys next time, where we're going to head over that way.